Alright, what's going on guys? It's Sparks here, and uh, today I'm playing Battlefield. Um, this is a recording I did a while ago. The game type is sort of like gun game. I forget what it's specifically called. Uh, but essentially the way it works is you kill people with the weapon that's in your hand twice. So as you can see on screen, I have uh, a pistol. And uh, you see where my radar is on the left side, it says one of two. That means I've killed one of two people to go on to the next weapon. So, um, yeah, so this is a pretty cool game. Um, I really enjoy those Black Ops 2 style, you know, mini games uh, like Gun Game, Sharpshooter, Sticks and Stones. And to know that in uh, Battlefield they have something very similar, um, but a lot more realistic and competitive, uh, is fun. Um, I have yet to be able to get past, uh, like, coming 8th. Uh, it seems that as soon as I get past the shotguns and start getting into assault rifles, people are so, at that point, way past me that... Um, that uh, I just can't, I just can't get past that stuff. But um, yeah, a couple things to note. Uh, I'm not a huge Battlefield player. I do have Battlefield because obviously you see that I have gameplay for it. Um, and so while I was recording this, it was like the first, you know, few times I've been playing and trying to explore what Battlefield has to offer, and I really enjoy Battlefield. It's, uh, it's quite the game. It's, it's really different um, than Call of Duty. Um, and I know people sit back and they go, Oh, Call of Duty is this, and Battlefield is that, and, and they talk about the, the games and try to compare the two, but uh, I, you know, I highly suggest people don't do that. Don't compare the two games. They're very, very, very different games. Um, this game right now is a close quarters game. Close quarters uh, maps were introduced when um, EA and DICE introduced the premium subscription and I've, I currently have that. Um, this is running on a PC, uh, so this is not a console game. Uh, so there's higher graphic fidelity and stuff like that. But even in the close quarters maps, you'll see as I'm walking through uh, the different areas of this map. This map, even though it's a close quarters map, is still quite big. It's still quite... I would say it's a, a medium to large size map in comparison to uh, into Call of Duty's... in comparison to a, a medium to large size map in Call of Duty, so... Uh, I'm... there's... and there's multiple levels to this, so... Uh, I could essentially go up this ramp and I'll be brought to, like, a, a lobby style area, or a balcony style area, which is all in the same area, and, um... It's... it's just a very, very, very complex map. Um... Uh, the one thing you should learn about this game type is that be prepared to die a lot. Uh, because this game type um, pretty much pits you with, if you're on the lower tier weapons, against people, as you can see on screen right now, people who essentially sometimes will have higher tier weapons. Uh, so if you jump into a game midway through, like I did, um, this game was already, uh, already started. It's on a custom server. Uh, and that's another big difference between Call of Duty and Battlefield. Battlefield has gone server, um, has gone towards custom servers and people running their own servers versus Battle which, uh, versus Call of Duty, who has servers set up and, and pretty much it's the only way you can play. Um, so the cool thing about this is I chose to play Gunmaster. That's what the game type is called, and uh, I can continue to just play Gunmaster. Um, so this is my first Gunmaster gameplay. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I came in 13th. I will see you guys later. Peace out.